And we're excited about what God has Come on up here and join me, Sister Kilpatrick. Isn't that what the old preacher says? Yeah, Sister Kilpatrick's coming. Hallelujah. My wife is going to be leaving Wednesday for Africa. Isn't that great? <laughs> he doesn't even know my schedule. Okay. <laughs> Ohio, then. Ohio first, yeah. Okay, she's leaving for Ohio first. All I know is she's leaving. I don't care. I mean, she's going somewhere. She's going to be gone about a month. She's going to Ohio first. And I feel really good about, um, you know, we've got our children raised. And, um, you know, we've, uh, down through the years in the ministry, we've been in the ministry for 32 years. And God has blessed us with two fine sons. I tell you, I love my boys. I, I saw them yesterday. Both of them were out of the house. And um, I saw my boys and I, I love my boys. I, can I take just a minute before I dedicate these young ones? My oldest son, Scott's up there. Well, he was up there. Where's he at? There he is. Stand up, son. Let everybody see that blonde-headed, handsome boy right there. That's my boy. And that's my other son, John Michael. Stand up, son. And... Uh, Well, I guess you better stand again so everybody can see who your wives are. That's Elizabeth with John Michael. John Michael, y'all both stand up. I know that's embarrassing. Isn't that embarrassing? And then Scott and Karen, they have three children. Given us three, they've given us three grandchildren. But God has blessed us, and uh, we feel really honored for the Lord to pour out his spirit in the church like he has. It's, uh, it's a major obligation and it's a major responsibility that the Lord has done. And we feel that obligation and responsibility. We don't take it lightly. But um, when my mother was dying, the Lord spoke to me uh, through someone and said, as long as she lives, it won't come. But when she's gone, it'll come. And my mother was dead five weeks. I was so hungry for revival. And when my mother died, five weeks later, revival broke out in this church. And it happened at just a perfect time because it, if it would have broke out while she was still in the nursing home dying, we couldn't have been here in the beginning. I couldn't have been here each night. But after five weeks, God gave me five weeks to grieve, and then he poured out his Holy Spirit. And um, with us having our children raised, and God has touched Brenda. She used to be so shy up until just a few years ago. She would lose her breath if she got in front of a crowd and tried to speak. And now you can't shut her up. <laughs> But I love her, and uh, she's been my precious wife for all these many years, and uh, I love her dearly, and God's really using her. She's not a preacher. She never has claimed to be a preacher. She just goes about and shares what God is, uh, has done in her life and what he's doing here at the revival, and uh, I think she does it in a very discreet and balanced way. I know sometime um, when we start having these conferences and all, I realize uh, how things can get out of hand in a youth conference, a pastor's conference, or a children's conference, or a women's conference. But I feel so good, like the conference that just ended with Richard Crisco, I feel so good having people like himself in charge of that because my heart totally trusts in Richard Crisco. And whenever God begins to move in the women's conference, I totally trust my wife. I know her better than anybody else. I know her prayer life. And I know even though God has touched her powerfully, I know she's not weird. And she doesn't lean. I know she doesn't lean toward the sensational. I know that. And uh, it makes me feel really comfortable when we have these conferences, knowing that she's there to keep a watchful eye on things. And also to know when God sends her out all over the world that she's balanced and she's solid and she has a prayer life and she loves God. So I just thank God for everything he's done. I, I was just thinking in the last few days, uh, pardon me here for a minute for talking, but I just want to, I want to express myself. I don't get a chance to do this a whole lot. But I was just thinking the last few days, one day I was out by myself, and I just had tears rolling down my face. And I said, Lord, I think I'm the, blows, the, the, the most blessed man in the world in the ministry. I, I feel so blessed. I feel blessed that you're bringing people from all over the world to our church. I feel blessed to have a congregation that has stood with me through thick and thin. I feel blessed to have the family that I have. I feel blessed that God has sent to us the evangelist to work with us that he has, the music director, all my pastoral staff. 
I, I just, I feel blessed. I feel like I'm the most blessed man in the ministry. And uh, today, as I look out over the days and weeks and months to come, I have never been more excited than I am today. There's something throbbing. I can't see it yet. It hadn't, it hadn't tipped the horizon coming our way, but I can feel the heartbeat of it. It's headed our way. And God is about to do something powerful and awesome. I believe not only in this church and in this revival, but I believe God's about to do something powerful in this nation. Amen. Amen. I believe that God once again is going to touch America, and it will be truly a Christian nation. Amen. Well, I've said my part. You know, preachers get so many words built up, and they've got to get rid of them. I've got four years of words built up, so Thursday night, y'all better get ready. As I call the baby's name, if the parents will uh, bring the babies to the platform, Hannah Elizabeth Bennett. <laughs> Dominique Carmen Carrion. Jordan Page Ellis. Rebecca Elizabeth Gizmondi. Did I say that name right? I did? Hey. Faith Elizabeth Jess. Kristen DeLucia Lashbrook. Chastity Christine Lee. Benjamin Magnese. Megan McNeese. <laughs> Hannah Elizabeth Augsment. <laughs> Kathleen Tegnander. <laughs> Did I say that name right? Tegnander? Hey, hey. I'm doing good, folks. I'm anointed today. I'm not through yet, though. <laughs> Rachel Mercy Tyner. <laughs> Lily Villapando. Jared Robert Williams. And Nicholas Tyler Huguenin. That you've been dedicating babies said mine was the only one in all those years that you haven't prayed it across the platform I've always prayed the babies across the platform we got one more did we miss this one okay it wasn't on the list David uh, let's see David and Lisa Chavis with their baby Brooke if you'll come on to the platform please sorry we left you out Save the best for last. But uh, it's so important that parents bring their babies to the house of the Lord for dedication. 
Even the parents of Jesus did that. And Simeon said, Mine eyes now have seen. I'm ready to go. He saw the arrival of the Messiah. And whenever parents bring their babies to the house of God like this for dedication, it's so important because what these parents are saying is that we love these children and we're glad that God has blessed us with them and we recognize that it's a blessing from God and we want to dedicate and give these babies back to the Lord for God to have His way in their lives. That's very important. And so what we're going to do here, we're going to take a few moments and we're going to move these babies through the audience and let you see them. And we got some fine looking babies today. Hi. And what's her name? Hannah. Hannah. Hey. Hey, she's waving at you. She's waving. Hey. <laughs> hey. Boy, you're friendly today. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, she's bright eyed and bushy tail. <laughs> hey, son, how are you doing, man? God bless you. I'm proud of you, you guys. Y'all been with me a long time, hadn't you? This is Dominique. That's a great name. Pull her dress down, Mama. Oh, pull her dress down here in the front. Hey. Hey there. Isn't that sweet? Hey, who was that you saw over there? You know somebody back there? <laughs> God bless you. Whew, man, I'm getting old, guys. Wow. Hallelujah. What's her name? Rebecca Elizabeth. Hey, Rebecca. How are we today? Hey. How you doing? This is Rebecca Elizabeth. She's a female, you can tell. You can tell that. Hey, how you doing? She's working on that five five, I tell you. God bless you. Hallelujah. This is Jordan. Jordan? Jordan? What's the first Jordan name? Page, yeah. Jordan Page. Hey, Jordan. Look at there. Who we got here? Who is that? Is that baby Jesus? <laughs> hey. This is Jordan Page. Hey. She's serious. She's going to be an intercessor. That's what... <laughs> God bless you. That's sweet. I did her last time. Okay, you you look like a Kilpatrick dedication. Okay. Faith Elizabeth. Faith Elizabeth. Let's take her. Can we take her hat off? Should we? You want to leave it on? Okay. Well, I don't think they can see her without it. The light's just casting a shadow on her. Yeah, there's better. Now we got the whole face. Isn't that sweet? That brightened her right up, didn't it?
This is a revival baby here. Mama and daddy got touched mightily in a revival and moved here. What's what your name? Faith. Faith. How about that? So you need two more babies now and have hope and charity. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Brother Lash, bro. Kirsten? Kirsten? How old is she? Eight Whoa. Eight weeks. Whoa, here. Whoa. She's snoring. Look at that. She's stretching. She's stretching. Isn't that sweet? Her grandpa and grandma is headed to work in the jungles of Uri and Jaira. Isn't that something? Touched mightily by God in this revival, and they're going to work with Klaus Kugler and Uri and Jaira. God bless you, folks. We love y'all. Hi. <laughs> Get the blood going again. I'm in bad shape, Lendl. Lendl, I'm in bad shape, brother. I need to eat right. Huh? You don't know what to do about it? Yeah. You still look in good shape, though. Did you know Lendl used to weigh 240 pounds? That's the truth. He used to weigh 240 pounds. First time I ever met him, he weighed 240 pounds. I don't know, but I'm resting. Uh, <laughs> I'm talking, man. I'm talking. I'm talking. <sighs> Just taking a break here for a minute. I understand. Yeah. I understand. Just talk to me for a while. Well, I'm, I'm looking at these revival babies, too, for huh. daughter-in-laws, potentially, you know. Oh, daughter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to be a revival baby. Yeah, though. your baby is how old? He's six months. Six months. Yeah, we're about, what, 30 years down the road, maybe? We'll be looking for so, you know. They, they're getting married younger and younger now, though. No, 30 years. 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi. Little girl? Yes. And what's your name? Chastity. You want to take her hat off where everybody can see her? Oh, goodness. Chastity? <laughs> hey there. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? Looks like the Gerber baby. <laughs> Boy, those jaws. Whew. She don't have the mumps, does she? <laughs> Look at those jaws. What'd you say? Oh, she said it's just fluid. <laughs> That's so sweet. Oh, hey, brother. These are big ones, aren't they? <laughs> Is she getting baptized too? I've dedicated to? Yes. Okay. And him too? Yes. Okay. Why don't y'all just walk with me here? <laughs> Come here, guys. I'm a, I'm a man. I can take it. Come here, buddy. Hey. Hey. It's not that bad. Trust me. It's not that bad. Come on, man. Come on. Hey. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, mommy's right up there. Put your best face on, son. You're in church. Oh, look at that. They want to see you folks. Oh. Hi. What's her name? Hannah Elizabeth. Hannah Elizabeth. 
Hi there. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? Hey there. Hey. That's a good name, Hannah Elizabeth. Your posture's a little bad, but... <laughs> oh, you want to see... Po no, you're looking at the lights, I see. <laughs> Hi. And your baby's name? Kathleen. Huh? Kathleen. Kathleen. Wow. Hey there. You sure are light. <laughs> you sure are light. I like you. <laughs> That's sweet. This baby is so light. <laughs> hey, let's get pull her dress down there, honey. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> That's sweet. Got on your patent leather shoes. Wow. You ready for church? Ready for church? Usually, if they wear patent leather shoes early like that, it's a sign they're going to be a preacher's wife. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Oh, hey, what's your name? What's your name? She's got her bandana on. She's ready. Isn't that sweet? She's ready to work in the church now. She said, I've responded to the altar call. I'm ready to go to work for Jesus now. Where's the mop and the broom? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that sweet? <laughs> hey, I'm going to get that girl. I'm going to get that girl. <laughs> Just a second. Hallelujah. See if y'all had a young pastor, he'd just zip through here. <laughs> By the time I'm 50, it's going to take me two hours to do baby vacation. <laughs> Hi, what's her name? Lily. Lily? Hey. Hey, Lily. Hey there. What you doing? Take a look at these Brownsville people here, Lily. Check them out. You check them out. What you think so far? <laughs> Did you see that? She said. <laughs> Me and you get along just fine. Did you see that? And I said, I like them so far. She said. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think so far? <laughs> oh, that's cute. Okay. Hey, partner. Jared. Hey, buddy. Look at that. <laughs> this is a new home run king. Watch out, buddy. We're not talking 70 home runs. We're talking 120. Yes, sir. That's what we're talking. <laughs> he's a fine boy. Yes, sir. Man, he's a fine man. Yes, sir. Look at that, folks. <laughs> Look at old brother Steve here. Look at old Steve. Isn't that a fine baby? Look at that preacher back there. What do you think about him? Can he preach? 
You think he can preach? Yeah, he shook his head. Yeah, he's all right. <laughs> hey, this is our missionaries we just had here last week, and they're dedicating little Nicholas today. These folks live in the former Soviet Union. They gave up their life here in America to go to the former Soviet Union to be missionaries, and believe me, they are true missionaries. It's a real privilege. <clears throat> Real privilege to be able to dedicate their baby today while they're home. When are you leaving, going back? 29th. 29th of March, going back. God bless you, son. That's a good book you gave me, too. Excuse me. <laughs> Brooke. We just prayed for a little Brooke this morning. Isn't that sweet? Brooke needs the Lord to touch her body and give her divine healing. She's a sweet baby. And I believe the Lord's going to do it. Isn't that sweet? I love that color hair. That's a sweet baby. Would you stand with me, please, everybody? God bless you, honey. Sweet baby. Bless you, brother. Nice to see you. Kill Patrick. Where'd she go? Would you uh, extend your hands toward the platform, toward these babies? We're going to dedicate them in the name of the Lord. Father, how beautiful it is in your sight to see parents face up to responsibility and not just have children but pledge to bring those children up in the fear and the admonition of the Lord. You said in your word, train up a child in the way they should go, and when they're old, they will not depart from it. And Father, I pray for wisdom for the parents, that you would anoint their minds with wisdom for their individual children, so that they can just look at those children and know when something is not right. Lord, bless them with intuitive insight that they can just look at those children and say something is not right. I need to inquire of my child. I need to pray for my child. I need to monitor things more closely. And Father, I pray that even all the family members that's associated with these children will have positive, godly input into their little lives. And Lord, I speak over these babies that not a one of them be molested I speak over them, Lord, that you build a wall of fire about them and a canopy over their heads. Let not one of these children, Lord, be maltouched, abused in any way. And Father, I pray that at the earliest possible time in their little life, that mom and dad or grandma and grandpa will have the wisdom to lead them to Jesus at the earliest possible hour. And Father, I pray now for these children that you will bless them. Lord, bless them from head to foot. I ask, Lord, that every one of these children not have any learning disabilities, that their minds be strong, that their learning abilities be strong. There be no impediments to their thinking or their learning. Father, I pray that you will make their little spirit sweet, yet strong in the things of God. May they be touched now at an early age to be sensitive to the moving of your Holy Spirit. Father, I pray that you would migrate out of their lives and deflect the other kids and the other young people they will be around in their life. Deflect them away from them that will have a bad influence on them and lead them away from the things of God. Father, I pray in Jesus' name that you will let the organs in their little bodies function the way you intended for man from the beginning. Let there be no maladies, no infirmities, no sicknesses and no diseases. Lord, make their bones strong. Let their eyes be bright. Let their eyesight be good. Let their hearing be great. Father, I pray that the stamina of their bodies, they will not be lazy and apathetic, but they will be energized and power packed by the Holy Spirit to do the work of God in the closing hours of this generation. 
Jesus, we ask you now to bless all the family members and these babies with a special blessing in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. Thank you. You may be seated.